going on everybody this is Harry here um, quick video just showing you my new design to the games room all three of us are going to be showing off our games rooms and just letting you take a look at what we got and uh, if you fancy seeing us play any of them on our streams or if you just want to see what we collect and things like that what we like this is what these videos are for so without further ado let's take you for a tour of my games room I mean, as you can see, as you walk in straight away, you get all these big units here. And f with all these units, they're filled up with a lot of games, collector's editions. So as we go through them, as you go straight in, you have my Sega shelves. In here just has my... I'll open it up so you can have a look what's in there. My very limited Dreamcast games. Japanese uh, Saturn and Dreamcast games, PAL Saturn games, and then just all of my Mega Drive and very small choice of Master System games. A couple of good ones, like Shining Force 1 and 2. But again, Sega ain't, I don't collect huge for Sega, but if I see something good, I do try to pick it up. The best bit over here is my uh, consoles. You can see me in the reflection, but you can just see the boxed consoles, limited edition consoles of just all my Sega consoles, so Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, and Mega Drives up top. Just move this box out of the way. And as you can see, it's just all of my Sega stuff in there. Just on top, a couple more boxes for Atari systems. And this box here, it's just in the way at the minute because I've got no room for it, but it's just got all my comics in. And then as you move along, you got my Resident Evil shelf, my favourite unit, my favourite part in the games room, really. Full of Resident Evil collector's pieces, like the collector's editions, the games, the chainsaw controller. I think that one's for the PlayStation. I still need the yellow GameCube one. Uh, more collector's pieces, collector's consoles. I don't know if you can see because of the reflection, but inside's the red uh, 360. Um, number seven's collector's piece, the GameCube and Games Air for it. And then just a couple more collector's editions down below. Max Payne, and I think that's my Dead Rising one, I think. And then as you go along, it's just more collector's editions. My Spongebob one, my most recent one, as you'll see from, if you follow our Twitter account, you'll see there's pictures of it on there. All my wrestling collector's pieces. And then my Mortal Kombat, Spider-Man, South Parks, and then my Batman pieces down there, which has all four of them. All four of the Arkham games collector's pieces in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see because of the reflection. I apologise. And then just as you go on now, and this is still the first part of the game room. This is my NES games. Well, the unboxed NES games. On top, a couple of systems box. The SNES one hiding away behind all of that. A couple of NES stuff here. The console, the zapper, and the a Japanese power glove. Quite rare and quite hard to find. My SNES games boxed. Not many. I don't get loads for this system. I don't play it loads. And they're very expensive, so I get what I can when I can. Boxed Game Boys and Game Boy Colours and all sorts in this shelf. Some SNES unboxed. Just slowly go through that. A couple of colours boxed there. The original Game Boy in the back. The printer and camera there as well. And as you go down, just my unbox systems. Uh, quite a lot of limited editions in here. I, you won't be able to see it, but I've got a Toys R Us exclusive there. Underneath the Spongebob Game Boy is the Zelda SP and a pink and blue one. Um, behind the Toys R Us one is a couple of Game Boy Advances. Uh, the top one's limited edition, I can't remember which one. And then a couple at the front. And then just this side is a, my Pokemon games. Uh, I like to try getting all of them, I still need loads, but I like to try getting them when I can. Again, they shoot up in price, so if you ever find them, pick them up as soon as you can. And then down here, just my DS games and 3DS games and uh, Game Boy Advanced boxed stuff there. And as you move along, 
one more time. Sorry, I'm going through this slowly, but I just want to show off everything as much as I can or as well as I can. It's my N64 collection. A lot of boxed con uh, consoles down here. And then a lot of variants. I haven't got the boxes for all of them. Uh, I would open it, but as I tried, there's two lights there, two neon lights, which need moving. I'm still in the process of moving this room around. So when I find space, hopefully I will. But I'll move them. And then just all my N64 box games. One console I'm really trying to get a complete set for. Uh, I think I'm about 80 plus games in. Uh, so I still need a few. Again, the price of them just keep jumping up. So whenever I see them in the shops, I try picking them up. Getting harder and harder to find stuff I need, unfortunately, though. And then as you move across, this is the second part of the game room. Where you have this piece here just separating what's behind it. And that this empty corner down here, I have another GameCube on its way. And that's going to take that position. But other than that, it's just another collector's piece. My GameCube games, nothing special. This is one system I need a lot more for. I need a lot more for it, to be honest. And then my tiny little Wii U collection, because no one has a great collection for that. But I need to improve on it. The games are cheap, so best time to pick them up. And then a couple more big collector's editions there. Doom, Mortal Kombat box. And then here's just a couple of figures, a um, couple of horror figures that are based on their... These two especially are based on their NES games. And then as you go through, you can see my little PlayStation collection. You walk in, and here's where the sofa is. Next to the sofa has more games on the other side. My Wii stuff. Let me sit down and show these quickly. Small Wii collection and a small Switch collection there. And then just a couple of things I can fill up. Oh, few, I'm trying to get more of these as well. Boxed NES games, I want more. The artwork, I wish I could show off. They're fantastic. I just don't want to take them out. It takes too long. But hopefully I can display them eventually where they're all showing from the front and I've got a lot of space to display them because they are some of my favourite bits of my collection here. And then as you go to the TVs, just before it, you have all the PlayStation stuff. So box consoles up there, just boxes thrown away. Like, out of the way. Uh, PS2 games. Again, I've got quite a lot of them, so they're just there. Also supporting the shelf a bit. And then underneath these PS2 games, let me get a closer look quickly, just so you can see what is there. Behind them is a lot hidden behind these boxes as well, but there's nothing too special as they'd be up to top. My childhood PS2 there box, still with the Blockbuster sticker, when my mum got it for my brother, I believe, and I probably stole it off him years ago. And then my VR, which hardly gets used, PlayStation box, and then more of my PlayStation collection below. Here's the PS1 games. One thing I'm trying to get a lot more for now, definitely. Because PS1, I'm really getting into. I'm hoping to get a big collection soon of some heavy hitter games. I'm sorry about the glare as well and the reflection. I'm trying the best I can to go through them. Um, and then just down below is just my PS3 games. Which lately, when you see in a second, the one console I've set up at the minute. Because I've just moved it all around and resell it up yesterday. The only thing I've set up at the minute is my PS3. And my VHS and DVD player so i can watch as you can see i was in here last night so i can watch old wrestling tapes and i was playing a bit of castlevania on the ps3 actually last night testing it out um and just un good game if anyone wants to test it out really fun actually hard as hell though i was out here sweating my nut off doing an awful job at the game but just underneath that is a, a few consoles that i have out us boys stream on them once so i have them out and switch them up with upstairs um, mix and match whatever ones I need the wires behind them again easy to set up when we're out here playing games well I need more set up but at the minute it's just too many wires when too many are up at once uh, my PS4 collection though just the games are just here because my PS4 is normally set up out here but like I said I've just been rearranging so everything's kind of a mix at the minute 
And then a small little section for Atari games. Of course, you've got to have E.T., the most well-loved Atari game, clearly. Um, never tested it, uh, that game anyway. But if anyone does collect for Atari, great. It's cheap and proper old school. Hard to set up, though. Proper pain these days. But just as you go along now, it's just uh, parts of my Simpson collection. Just figures that are all around the wall. Uh, I used to collect these as a kid. I have tons of them unboxed upstairs, but I started re recently getting them boxed again because they're just such nostalgia for me. And then just tucked away behind the sofa is my little Xbox collection. A couple of originals boxed. The crystal ones are really nice condition. Uh, a couple of unboxed 360 consoles. My Xbox One boxes. The nicest console I own design wise is that Gears 5 one. Oh, the Xbox is fantastic. Even better than the Spider-Man PS4, and that's lovely as well. But then just a small collection of Xbox One games, because I play my PS4 more. And then just some 360 games hidden away, and Xbox Original. But there you have it, that's the whole games room. Uh, if you watch till the end, thank you. I'm sorry it's not the most exciting, but it's just to show off my games room, and I hope you lot enjoy it. But that's all of it, and until next time, see you later.